Welcome to the All in One channel. I'm Kelly Rosano, and this is Scorpio, December 2012. Scorpio, we start off the month with the Sun in Sagittarius, and this highlights the area of your life that has to do with your talents, gifts, and abilities. Your sense of self-worth, self-respect, and appreciation. Your inner and outer resources. So going into December, you're really looking at your money, uh, things that you own, your uh, earning ability, and what you can do to increase that. Then on December 10th, Mercury the Messenger enters this area of your life. And so now you're really putting some thought behind how you can use your skills, your abilities to increase your income. And then on December 13th, we have the new moon in Sagittarius. Uh, and so the focus really is here on your core values, what you love and value, and um, increasing income, increasing your sense of self-worth, uh, self-respect, self-appreciation. It's good. I really love this new moon because there's no nasty aspects with it. It's the sun and the moon together, uh, about 21, 22 degrees Sagittarius. And it's a positive energy. It's a fun-loving energy. And so this is really strong for you now about, you know, it's after your birthday and now it's time to really focus on what truly matters to you, what you love and value, how you can use your talents, gifts, and abilities to increase income, increase your sense of self-worth, and increase your sense of self-respect. Now Uranus, which has been retrograde for months, turns direct just a few hours after the new moon in Sagittarius. And this is activating the area of your life that has to do with your work, how you work, your lifestyle, your health habits. So Uranus is now moving forward in this area, so changes on the work can empower your increase in income. Now Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, and abundance, enters your financial area as well. Sagittarius rules your second house of your money. And now... Um, Venus is in there on December 15th. This is very good. When we have Venus, the goddess of love uh, and abundance, money, sense of self-worth, uh, in that area for us, it boosts our income. It boosts our earning ability. So this is good news because uh, this will help you to attract uh, new sources of income and new opportunities and um, just you know, making you feel better about what you're doing to increase your income. Now on uh, December 21st, the sun enters Capricorn and we have winter solstice in the northern hemisphere and summer in the southern. And uh, on December 21st, it's a very powerful date. It's the 1221 12 date. It's the end of the Mayan calendar. It is the end of duality consciousness, and we are entering what I like to call triality consciousness or all are one consciousness. Recognizing that we are all connected to each other through our heart and the divine spark in us all. Capricorn is the mountain goat climbing the highest mountain, climbing the mountain of your I am presence, climbing the mountain of consciousness. So as we go up in consciousness, we go up in vibration. As we go up in vibration, we hold more light. The more light we hold, the more we help humanity, and the more we help Mother Earth move into fifth dimension, Gaia. So uh, this is a very important time, and Capricorn it rules the area of your life that has to do with how you think and communicate, your attitude, your intellect, speaking, writing, teaching. And then on uh, Christmas, um, the sun squares off with Uranus. So I just want to say happy uh, Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa, Merry Christmas, happy Christmas in the UK. I don't want to miss anybody because all are one. <laughs> okay, so the sun is squaring off with Uranus. So if there's any changes going on in uh, work that has to do with uh, changes 
that you need to make in your perceptions or your attitude. Remember, attitude is everything. And if we are focusing on the glass being half full, law of attraction brings us positive. If we're focused on the negative, law of attraction brings us more negative. So be aware of where the mind goes. Wherever the mind goes, energy follows. Focus on what's working. Focus on the positive. Focus on the good. Now, Mars is entering Aquarius on December 25th. And Mars is moving into the area of your life that has to do with where you live, your home. So this is interesting. Now, Mars is the ambassador to Uranus, and Uranus is all about the power of the individual over the next five years because Aries rules the individual, and Uranus is in Aries, which is ruled by Mars. Now, Mars is in Aquarius, which is ruled by Uranus. So they're not only in mutual reception, they are also, um, Mars is also the ambassador for Uranus. So Mars is carrying out the will of Uranus. So is there any changes you need to make in the home? Are you looking to work from home? Are you looking to move? Are you moving for a job? Are you moving so that you can increase your income because you have better work opportunities in another location? So you're really going to be looking at this uh, the last week in December especially, but Mars will be in this area um, for at least six weeks, well into uh, January for you. And so um, it's very interesting. So how can you use social media to increase your income? How can you use networking to increase your income? How can you get out into the community to network with others to increase your income? You're, that's what you're thinking about now because the focus um, started off very strong here in your earning income sector, then it moved into community and uh, short distance travel, but also uh, networking over the internet, networking using social media, networking using um, television, radio, podcasting, and it's all about moving up in your work, moving up, changing your lifestyle if necessary, changing your work situation if necessary. And then um, on December 28th, we have a powerful uh, full moon in uh, Cancer activating Pluto, the Pluto Uranus square. So this is very intense and uh, the 28th and uh, it involves Pluto and Uranus, and when it involves Pluto and Uranus like this, um, they're like a couple of gangsters. So we want to be conscious creators. We want to be creating from our conscious awareness, not our unconscious. When we create from our unconscious, we're creating from fear. We're creating from the negative. We're creating what we don't want, and we don't want to do that. We want to be conscious creators and creating from what we do want. Increased income, better jobs, uh, better living location, better relationships. That's consciously creating. That's consciously stating to the universe what it is you want. And Scorpio, you are one of the most powerful signs in the zodiac, and you are powerful. Now, Pluto is is saying there could be nasty games being played on the 28th. It could actually start on Christmas, all the way through till the end of January. Uh, so be aware of. You know, those in a lower vibration, those in a lower consciousness, you know, those that like to play the politics, play games, uh, gossip. Uh, so just be aware of that. Watch for manipulation, hidden agendas, power plays, power struggles, jealousy, and secrets coming out. Pluto loves to expose the secrets. And so you may be finding things out about relatives or people you work with that uh, are shocking and surprising. Uranus is expect the unexpected. But it's not always negative, okay? It isn't. It's, Uranus is the awakener. Uranus wants to wake us up and show us the truth. It's the truth that sets us free. Now, fortunately, we have a very supportive sextile, harmonious and supportive energy flow with Saturn in your sign to Pluto and the full moon in Cancer, helping you to be strong and stable, to get what you want, to uh, use your power to create what you want, and um, Saturn is in your sign, so you're directing Saturn. So Saturn is working with you, and um, you know you have a good focus in the in the resource area. Venus is there 
in your second house of money and Saturn is harmonizing uh, with the full moon and you know the full moon does trine you it's a harmonious supportive energy flow because cancer is a sister sign to you Scorpio so um, use your future vision to create what you want use your higher power to create what you want plan a beautiful trip for yourself go abroad connect with others of light and like-mindedness throughout the planet those that support you and get you and love you and understand you and want to uh, be there for you you can use this full moon to expand consciousness to um, increase your business to uh, start a business on the internet to uh, go back to school to teach at school uh, for your freedom it's all about freedom now and increasing our freedom then we have the Sun conjuncting Pluto on December 30th and Pluto says it's time to purge the past the cosmic message is to release what no longer serves your highest good so what is in your highest good and like Taurus and Scorpio you guys hold on to things too long many of you can hold on to things when uh, they've expired you know and so it's it's not the letting go that causes the suffering it's the holding on so let go of what no longer serves you and this will free you up to climb higher in consciousness that's what Capricorn wants you to do now is climb your highest mountain climb your mighty I am presence go higher in consciousness so that you can create the life that you want and this is happening in the third house of how you think and communicate so is there any shifts in your thinking that needs to take place do you need to uh, release old thinking so that you are in in embodying more of your higher self embodying more freedom trusting in the universe trusting having faith and trust that you will be um, carried to the new life and uh, create in the new life that you want now mercury the messenger enters Capricorn empowering you to think of new life strategies new work strategies and to create more of what you want in 2013 mercury goes into this area on New Year's Eve happy New Year's Eve happy uh, uh, bye to 2012 hello 2013 so on uh, December 31st Mercury the messenger enters this part of your life uh, uh, enters Capricorn and how you think and communicate so Mercury is empowering you to create new life strategies new ways of doing things and so um, one of the challenges though uh, is you know like if Mercury was squared by Saturn is is we can get uh, too heavy in our thinking so remember wherever the mind goes energy follows don't focus on you know what's not working focus on what you can do focus on new strategies new life strategies new work strategies be the conscious creator the universe is saying that you must release the past you must let go of what no longer serves you be it a relationship a job a living location a lifestyle or how you think how you communicate we create our reality through our thoughts and our feelings if we want to change the world we want to change what we're seeing we have to change from the inside out first problem cannot be solved on the same level of thinking it was created that's Einstein that's why we want to climb with Capricorn to our highest level of consciousness so that we are creating what we want and we are solving our problems through new levels of thinking higher levels of thinking higher levels of consciousness own your power make a commitment to your new life we end 2012 with a playful moon in Leo and Leo it's interesting because we started December um, with the moon in Leo and now we end December with the moon in Leo so there's a cosmic message here with the universe is yes Pluto and Uranus are doing major house cleaning for all of us however if we're in our inner child and we're being playful and we're coming from love and we're coming from our heart we're gonna do great Leo rules what you do in the world and so you are moving up you are directing Saturn and Saturn is in harmonious energy flow with Pluto he wasn't she wasn't when she was in Libra but she is in Scorpio so Scorpio 
you have the ability to recreate yourself. You are the phoenix rising from the ashes of the past. You have the ability to recreate yourself. You have the ability to power your, empower yourself. And the universe is saying, shift your thinking. Shift your thinking where it needs to change, and we will empower you to give you a new future, to give you a more playful career where you're having more life and working less. And that can be part of your new work strategy in 2013. Now, I created the coaching tool, Consciously Creating 2013. The link is below. Go there and use that tool to consciously create what you want in 2013, whether it's a new job, uh, meeting your soulmate, uh, using social media to create a new business, creating a new website, or putting your business on the web, whatever your heart's desire is, you can manifest it. You are powerful. Use that power to create what you want and watch the universe match you. Watch the universe match whatever it is you're creating. And this is the new energy now. We're moving into fifth dimension now. And so as we move into fifth dimension, we're no longer creating just from the intellect. We're creating from our heart. And use that powerful heart of yours to create the life that you want, to create what you want. Put it down in paper, write it out, and, and manifest it because you are a powerful manifester. Happy New Year, Scorpio. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking and sharing my podcast. Thank you for subscribing. You totally rock. Thank you for your comments, your letters, and feedback. It's great to hear from you. Thank you to all my clients. I appreciate you. And if you would like to work with me and have me take a detailed look at your astrology, it's very easy. You go to my astrology page. It takes you to my PayPal. The link is below. Once I see, you choose the length of your session you want. Once I see you've made that commitment, I email you my schedule. You choose the day and the time that you want. And we're off and running, rocking and rolling. So until next time, Scorpio, keep looking up.